Okay, uh, make a 100 eco with the Chow ESP32 S3 sense. We are going to try Edge Impulse making a vision uh, classification model. So once you log into Edge Impulse, go here, create new project. I always put EI before it. So when we do eventually transfer it to an Arduino um, or any microcontroller, uh, the libraries all line up in the same spot. Not quite sure why my melt libraries aren't showing up, but anyway. EI class uh, subcation. Uh, I always use pens and unknowns as the first one. Pen, pencils, whatever. Uh, just personal and create the new and it looks like we have to do it public. And there we go. So the first thing to check is that it right over here, by the way, since it's public, don't take pictures of people in your class, anything like that. Uh, this data set all becomes public. So just pictures of pens and unknowns that can be the floor, the ceiling, your shirt, whatever. Um, make sure these two things, it's one label per data item. We're not doing FOMO, which is bounding boxes and pick your thing. We use the Chow, and this is the uh, only ESP32 uh, that Edge Impulse is, is supporting, I guess. Uh, it probably supports all of them. Um, so everything goes down this side. So the first thing is we go connect a device. And once again, connect a device. I'm going to connect to your computer and hopefully it just opens up a tag. So now I have this and my computer. This We typically use the cell phone when you connect, you use the QR code, but just to keep things simple, this is what you see on your cell phone. Collect images, collect audio, collect motion. I teach the collecting the images, and eventually once we're done, we're gonna switch to classification, see how it works. Uh, once you can do the images, the audio, the motion, all totally makes sense. So um, I like 50 unknowns and 30 images. Um, so let's go give access to the camera, allow the camera. Ooh, not good. Let's do a little pause. Okay, well that problem was pretty obvious. I had the webcam going for down here. So now here we are. So first thing, I always put numbers here. So zero, unknown. That way I can analyze this entire word based on the number. Um, you don't have to do that, but that's what I do. So we are just trying to get pictures of unknowns. And so it's an unknown. Uh, that's an unknown. That's an unknown. I guess my shirt's probably a, not a bad, good, un, not a bad unknown. And what you want is you want like different positions. Um, so something you'd understand here is that is totally different from a pixel point of view compared to that, compared to that, compared to that, compared to that. They're all very different pictures because the lines are now at angles. And that is something which the computer has to be able to analyze properly. Uh, let's take the back of this. It's got a little bit of information on it. Okay, no idea how many I'm doing. Uh, oh, what do we got here? That's a perfect background. Now, I'll probably analyze this as grayscale. But for the moment, notice I'm turning it. I should be holding it completely still, but I don't actually think, um, ooh, I wasn't gonna do as many as I normally uh, do. Interesting, all these failed to upload. Maybe I was going a little quick. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna switch over to the pens. So one pen, one meaning the label. It doesn't mean I'm only taking a picture of one pen. Um, so, now, I got to kind of get out of the way to do these. Let's get the chair out of the way. And once again, rotating it. Uh, nice to get my 
arm out of the way. Not sure how to do this. So much easier on the cell phone. Uh, there we go. The word Sharpie, see I'm rotating it. It isn't actually helping. And let's switch up the pen. And I'm getting none of those major errors. As I said, I definitely at least 30. Oh, got a little bit of an error there. Um, I kind of want to switch up the background. Where's my pen? And pen, and pen. Okay, now let's get out of here. Oh, I probably should have switched here earlier. And let's have a look. Now, are you building object detection? No, we're doing vision classification. If you click yes on the dashboard, it's going to come down here and change this to bounding boxes, object detection. We don't want that yet. By the way, we can use this data set later on, but just right now. So let's just double check some of these pictures, make sure they're not too out of focus. Um, yeah, all looks good. Let's check the unknowns. And perfect. So now we move on. We want to create the impulse and just go with a 96 by 96. Don't mess around with these. First time you do it, just pick the defaults. Little yellow star, there's the default. Uh, it's just an image. This one, we've got transfer learning, efficient net BO. Uh, I'm just taking the top one. Now check that we've got two objects, zero unknown, one pen. Great, we can save this. We're all set. Now this part is where it's just pre-processing a little bit. I'm gonna switch, switch to grayscale. Um, don't really need to do that, but once I saved it, now it's generate features. Remember, we've got parameters and generate features. Give me a sec. Okay, so generate features takes a couple minutes. And what you're looking for is separation. Now, it's not so good that there's some blues in there, right, with the pens. Uh, you're welcome to click on it, go have a view the sample. Uh, you can kind of understand why it screwed that one up. Now, what you can do once you've uh, looked at these as, oops, didn't want to do that. Uh, you can then go delete it if you want. Uh, that is interesting that that got lumped in with the unknowns. And then there's a mess over there. I'm just going to go with it. So we switch over to the transfer learning. And typically, that's a, I typically crank it up as high as I can. Um, we're going to go with data optimization. Uh, I'm not going to do that one yet. And let's train this. Now, this would take a while, maybe five or six minutes. I just want you to watch for the loss. The loss is like a rating of how bad it is, and you want it to be reduced. You want the loss. You want to lose the loss. Um, might take a few seconds to get here. So... Uh, eventually, the goal is to get this on to an Arduino, some sort, um, but that's for another time. So there's the loss at 1, right? There it was at 1. It's already at 0.75. Here it's bounced back to 0.83. Whoops. No, 0 0.1, 0 0.08. So the loss is just going way down really fast. So probably 20 loops was fine. But uh, I'm going to pause. We'll see what it's like right near the end. Well, we're waiting for the final part here. Check that out. Times 10 to the negative 4. So 3 times 10 to the negative 4. The loss got really small, which means it's not as bad at learning as it originally was. Uh, this is pretty much done. Not sure if I'm going to wait around for it. There we go. Okay, so this is the important part. This is the part I'd have my students take, get a picture of. Um, pen, 100%. Uh, unknown 100%. A reminder with Arduinos, this stuff, take it with a grain of salt, because if you're driving a car based on these things or something, uh, what you really want is real world uh, the thing working. But this is nice to have it at 100%. Uh, there's our graph showing uh, how it separated things. So it all looks pretty good. So we can skip 
all of this except it, you can do live classification but it's kind of weird and slow best just to switch back to the camera and switch to classification mode and so what this is going to do is every couple of seconds it's going to do an analysis and give you some feedback uh, hopefully it takes doesn't take too long to build I might pause So that did take a few minutes to build. I uh, remember it being quicker on the cell phone. But here we go. Uh, it's giving us data really fast. The inference time, oh, this is quite a bit faster than it used to be. That's very interesting. Anyway, what you're looking for is right here. And it's switching back and forth from unknown. Get to my shirt. It did see an occasional false pen. But we throw the pen in here, and it's pretty darn good. Throw another pen in here. Throw another pen in here. Why is it so fast? Holy smoke. Okay, anyway, uh, I don't think it would be that fast on your Arduino. I think that's simply because it's on the desktop computer. Um, that's it. Uh, that's all we would be doing if you were to, uh, why can't I get out of here? There we go. I think I'm just gonna stop it.